I hope everyone is doing well and today I'm going to be talking about a diet that is very near and dear to my heart and it's a diet that was very popular amongst the vegans, the vegan community and online and it's now losing kind of its momentum, it's losing its spark it's not very popular, it's very hated on actually, and that's the raw till four movement, or diet, or cult, as some people like to refer to it as a cult. So the raw till four, we'll call it a diet, was developed, made popular by the oh so unpopular Freely the Banana Girl, as she's known online. So all I really knew about Raw Till 4 is what I learned from watching Freely's videos, from watching other vegans who were on Raw Till 4, who tried Raw Till 4, or who just criticized Raw Till 4. That's pretty much all I knew about it. I never really, really read into it. And as someone who did Raw Till 4 only based on what she observed in videos, it was very interesting to actually read the the text, the the literature behind it, kind of the explaining of it. So I went to the official Raw Till 4 Diet website, and the first thing you are greeted with while reading is the following sentence. Raw Till 4 is a lifestyle rather than a diet. I actually laughed out loud when I read that because no, it's just a diet. It has nothing to do with lifestyle. It has nothing to do with like inner well-being. It has only to do with weight loss and living a healthy life. It is not a lifestyle. I'm sorry, no. Even the website is rawtillfordiet.com or whatever. So no, it is a diet. It's only a diet. It has nothing to do with lifestyle. It's not a way of living, okay? It is not a philosophy that you dedicate your life to. No, this is just a diet for, for people basically to make money off of uneducated people who are willing to take any bit of information and try to follow it to a T and then fail. Raw Till 4 is pretty straightforward. It's a vegan diet focusing on raw whole foods like fruits and vegetables before 4 p.m. and then after 4 p.m. you can eat a cooked meal. However, when you are consuming your raw foods, it cannot contain nuts or seeds or fats of any kind. So raw unprocessed foods until 4 p.m. and then after 4 p.m. you can have a cooked meal but still you cannot cook with oils or fats. So it's basically high carb, low fat diet, vegan diet, but the high carb is continuously, however, before 4 p.m. it's raw. Not a very big, like, differentiating between the two. They're pretty much the same thing. This, this lifestyle or whatever requires no high impact exercising. Again, I laughed. Are you kidding me? If you are eating a high carb diet to this extent, what it requires of you, the amount of fruit that you are supposed to eat just before 4 p.m., you better be doing some high impact exercising to burn through that or guess what? It's just going to get stored. Like you can't be lazy on this diet. That's why it's such a laughable concept when you actually read into it. The, the way things are phrased, the, what it tells you. So this, you do have to exercise and you do need to do high impact. You do need to do intense working out just to be able to burn through the extra amount of energy that you're consuming. So one of the positive things that this site or this diet tries to convince you that you get to eat as much raw food as you want before 4 p.m. Doesn't that sound exciting? No, <laughs> it doesn't. Unless you're someone who honestly loves fruit, then you're gonna hate this. You're gonna hate your life on this diet because it's all just eating massive amounts of fruit 
for who knows how many hours, depending on when you wake up to 4 p.m., you're just consuming. No one wants to live their life like that. It's boring, and it's like you lose the, the momentum for fruit. The final point on the website was it completely, it just straight up says that if you fail at raw till four, it's your fault. It's not the diet's fault. It's not that there's a problem with the diet. It's not the diet's fault. It's not that the diet is totally an unachievable goal. No, 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 it couldn't possibly be that. No, it's you. It's your fault. You failed on a diet that is a failure in and of itself, but still the person's fault, never the diet's fault. Basically it says that if you fail, you just weren't eating enough. So eat more, eat more, and don't do exercise. So that, that sounds like you're gonna reach your goal of healthy living. Yeah. The final thing was this diet has more principles and rules than any other diet I have ever researched. They had up to 19 rules that you have to follow. 19 rules. That's more than, I swear, that is more than any other diet. This, that's ridiculous. And you want to call it not a diet? Okay, don't call it a diet, but you're just lying to yourself. It's a diet. So earlier I mentioned that I did raw till four and I will get into more detail with that at another time. And if you took a look at what I eat now, you could probably say, I still am raw till four, but that's just cause it's easy to always, like fruit is just easy and readily available to me during the day. So it's just the easiest thing for me to grab and eat. I am raw till four, but not on purpose. So don't associate me with raw till four cause I'm not about that cult life. Thank God recently raw till four is losing its momentum. It is losing its grip on people's souls and they are no, it's no longer, you know, sucking people dry of their, their will to eat normal food and enjoy food. So that's all I really have to say about Raw Till 4. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want to leave a comment, you can leave whatever you would like. I don't care. I love criticism. I love feedback. If you'd like to give the video a like, or if you don't, that's fine too. And I will see you next time. Bye.